This is a second part of our composing functions, compositions of functions. And in this video, we're actually going to be looking at compositions of more than two functions. So you have your functions listed up here. We have f of x equals 2x, g of x equals negative 3x plus 1, and h of x equals 4x squared plus 2. So for number 1, we're going to compose. And the same thing, you're going to work inside out. So let's start with our first one. Our inside or innermost is h. So we're going to find h of negative 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make negative 2 my input for h. So I'm going to have 4. And then my input, because this is going to be my input. And then negative 2 squared plus 2. When I work this out, I'm going to get negative 2 squared is positive 4, so I have 4 times 4, which is 16, plus 2, so we get 18. So that's our first one. Now we're going to take this 18, because that's your h of 2, negative 2, and that's going to become my input for g. So let's look at g. g is now going to be g of, what did I get? 18. Remember, inside out. So my input is now going to go in here. So g of 18 is going to equal negative 3, and then your input, which is x, which is 18, plus 1. So I've got negative 3 times 18, which is negative 54 plus 1, which is negative 53. So that's g of 18. And now, to finish it up, I am going to actually go to the f function. So my input now is negative 53. I'm gonna in, that's my input. And I'm going to look at f. f of x equals 2x. So 2 times my input, which is negative 53. And so 2 times negative 53 is negative 106, and that is your final answer. It's the same thing, except you do it three times instead of two. So let's look at the next one. F, G of H of F. Okay? And it's important to note that you could write this this way, too. You'll see it written that way. You, you, can see, you can see all of these written with the little dots. That means of. So let's go inside out. f of 0 goes first. So let's look at f. f of x equals 2x. So f of 0 equals 2 times 0. And that's going to give me an answer of 0. That's my first input. Now I'm going to take this input, and I'm going to plug it into my next one, inside out, which is h. So h of 0 h of x is 4x squared plus 2, so 4 times 0 squared plus 2. And when I work that out, I get 4 times 0 squared is going to be 0, plus 2 is 2. So that's my second output. So now I'm going to take that, and I'm going to plug it into my last output, which is going to be my g function. So I'm going to be g of 2. g is negative 3x plus 1, so it's going to be negative 3. And my x value is going to be 2 plus 1. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5, and that is your final answer. Now, sometimes you're not going to have a constant in here. You're actually going to have an algebraic expression. So let's look at this one. I've got f of g of h of x. So let's go inside out. h of x. Well, I'm not plugging anything in. h of x is just h of x, and h of x is 4x squared plus 2. So that is my output, okay, h of x. That is now going to be my next input. So I'm going to plug this, which is my output, because that just equals 4x squared plus 2, right? I'm going to plug that in now to g. So g 
of 4x squared plus 2 means that I'm going to do g of x, which is negative 3x plus 1, so negative 3. And again, there's your input, negative 3x, which is for our input, 4x squared plus 2, plus 1. You can see I'm only plugging in the input. That's all I'm doing. Now I have to distribute this a bit. So negative 3 times positive 4 is negative 12x squared. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 plus 1. So negative 12x squared minus 5. That is my second value. Apologies for that. So now I'm going to go to my third value. Okay. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to take this. And then I'm going to plug that into f. So now I have f of negative 12x squared minus 5. This is just a big chain, okay? f of x, if you look up here, is 2x. So I've got 2 times my input value, which is negative 12x squared minus 5. Again, I'm just plugging. See, it's 2x. And I'm just plugging in my input value. So now I distribute, and I've got 2 times negative 12x squared, which is negative 24x squared, and 2 times negative 5, which is negative 10. And that is my final answer. That is what we get when we take f of g of x, h of x. So let's do one more example. Let's do number 4. And looking at number 4, it's a little more complicated because now... We have h of x plus my, or x minus 1 instead of x. So let's look back at our functions, and let's go inside out. So I have h of x minus 1. I'm going to go to my h function, and I'm going to plug in x minus 1. So h is 4 times your input, which is x minus 1 squared plus 2. All I've done is plug in my input for my input. Input for my input. Now, the, the thing about this is you're going to have to expand it. So this is going to be 4 times x minus 1 times x minus 1 plus 2. And we use FOIL or we use our expansion. So I've got 4. And if I multiply this out, I'm going to save some time. I get x squared minus 2x plus 1. If you were to distribute and do FOIL and you did this term times this one and this one and this term times this one and this one, this is what you would end up with. So plus 2. Then I'm going to distribute. That's my next step. So 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times negative 2x is negative 8x. And 4 times 1 is 4. Now I can combine like terms. So I'm going to end up with 4x squared minus 8x plus 6. That's my first output. So now I'm going to have to take that output. That's only h of x minus 1. Now I'm going to plug that into f. So I'm going to go to f. f of x, remember up here, is 2x. So f of 4x squared minus 8x plus 6 equals 2x. Now remember, our x is this one here. So it's going to be, apologize, running out of room, 4x squared minus 8x plus 6. All I'm doing is plugging in, input to input. If I distribute that out, 2 times 4x is, squared is 8x squared. 2 times negative 8x is negative 16x. And 2 times 6 is 12. Now that is my final, or sorry, my second to last output. That is now going to become my input for g. So for g, g of x, if you remember, is negative 3x plus 1. So I'm going to do g of x, which is 8x squared minus 16x plus 12, equals negative 3x plus 1. So it's going to be negative 3 times your x, which is 8x squared minus 16x plus 12. And all of that is going to be plus 1. Sorry, I ran out of room here. So we're going to distribute. 
And we've got negative 3 times 8x squared, which is negative 24x squared. Negative 3 times negative 16x is positive 48x. Negative 3 times 12 is negative 36, and then we have plus 1. Now I combine like terms. So I've got negative 24x squared plus 48x minus 35. And that is my final answer. That is what g of f of h of x minus 1 equals. And again, this is composition of functions. And this was with three functions.